Hey guys, how are you today? So this is just a quick tip video. When I was on a recent trip with my husband to Lake Tahoe, California, uh, actually we were on the Nevada side, but if you haven't been to Lake Tahoe, I do recommend it as for, for a place to visit. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have some pictures on my social media pages. Um, I can include one or two here for you all, but yeah, just beautiful. They do have a few thrift shops in the area and when we're not admiring the nature of Lake Tahoe or eating food I probably shouldn't be eating. But they have some great restaurants up there. Anyway, then I'm thrifting. I love to go to at least one thrift shop at when we travel in places that I don't normally go shopping in. Um, Lake Tahoe's no exception and I found out they had a pretty new Goodwill, which honestly is not a shop I usually go to. But I thought, well, it's a new thrift shop. Let's go check it out. So glad I did. I found this nearly full vintage box of typing paper. It was $2.99. And I mean, yeah, the box is really full. Um, I got it because I thought, you know, that would be interesting. Typewriter paper. I do have a typewriter. Um, I could use this paper in there, but I thought, I wonder if you can run it through your printer, your computer printer, and what would happen. Yes, you can. <laughs> so these are from a download that's available in my Etsy shop. I'll put the link in the description. These are all my artwork I use to make journal covers and print as collage papers. And they printed beautifully on the typing paper. Now the typing paper is 8.5 by 13 and these images are 8.5 by 11. So rather than fiddle with them too much, I just wanted to quickly see if they could print. You could, if you had this file, adjust the images and blow them up so that you would lose part of the image but it would cover the complete piece of paper. You could do that. I just wanted to do these quickly. I've got a whole box of paper I can play with. Um, like any other image that you've printed on your inkjet printer, um, I wouldn't probably get this this side too wet, the printed side, because the ink might run. Um, but you definitely could glue it down to your journals um, or your whatever work you're doing um, on, from the back. I wouldn't get the front side too wet. You would want to, if you're going to get it wet, spray it with some sort of fixative or sealant first. But how cool are these? Vintage typing paper. And can you see the texture of the typing paper on camera? There's just nothing like vintage typing paper. So if you have something like this hanging around your office, uh, or maybe your mom does, or your grandmother, or maybe you've found it at the thrift store, don't turn it away because you're thinking, I need a typewriter for that. You don't need a typewriter for that. Besides printing on it, which of course is the easy thing, you could paint on this, you could doodle on this, you could draw on this, and then use it as embellishment. So those vintage papers, they're just fabulous. Give them a try. That's it for today. Go out, have a great day, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like buy yourself some typing paper. That's it. See you later. Bye guys.